Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system. So the prerequisite of installing Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system is you need to have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So if you don't have Java, please install Java on your Ubuntu operating system. I have already installed Java on my uh, Ubuntu operating system. So let's check uh, which version of Java I have. So I will just press Control Alt T to open my terminal. And once the terminal is open, I'm going to just give this command, which is Java hyphen hyphen version, and it's going to give me the version of Java. So if you don't see any response related to Java version here, then most probably Java is not installed. So I have already created a video about how to install Java on Ubuntu operating system. So I will put the link in the description of this video so you can uh, just watch that video and uh, install Java. So once you have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system, just open your favorite browser and search for Android Studio download. And here the top link would be from developer.android.com forward slash studio. So I'm going to just click on this link. We are going to just check which version of uh, Android Studio is available for the download. We are not going to download Android Studio from this website. I just want to check which is the latest version. And at the time of making this video, you can see the latest version is 4.1.2. So we are going to download this version of Android Studio on our Ubuntu operating system. So once again, go to your terminal and let me clear the terminal. And we are going to use a utility called Snap to install Android Studio. So Snap is uh, basically our package management system, uh, which will help you to download and manage your uh, softwares, right? So first of all, we are going to uh, find Android Studio on Snap. So just write Snap find, and then in the double quotes, you can just write uh, Android hyphen studio here. Okay. And when you click on enter, you will see some results here. And you can see the version available here is 4.1.2, which is same as available on its website. So we are going to install this version. So to install Android studio using snap, you can just write sudo snap and then uh, install and whatever software you want to install you want to install android studio so we are going to write android studio hyphen hyphen classic which is the note here right so sudo snap install android studio hyphen hyphen classic which is going to install the latest version and give your ubuntu's password which is going to start the download of this uh, android studio package so after some time, you will see this message which says Android Studio 4.1.1 or whatever version you have installed from Snap Crafters installed. That means Android Studio is installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So you can close this terminal. And now we are going to go to the applications section here. And then we will search for Android Studio. You can directly see this Android Studio icon here. But if you don't see this icon, just uh, search for uh, Android here and you will be able to see uh, Android Studio icon here. So I'm going to just click on this icon, which is going to open Android Studio on my Ubuntu operating system for the first time. Now, when Android Studio starts for the first time on your Ubuntu operating system, it's going to show you this kind of window, which will ask you if you want to import Android Studio settings if you have the previous version of Android Studio already. I don't have any Android uh, Studio previously installed, so I will just leave it as it is, which is do not import settings and click on OK. Also, you will see uh, this uh, window at the time of uh, the start. So I don't want to share any data, so I will just click on don't send. And now you will see this kind of window which says Android Studio Setup Wizard. So I'm going to just click on Next button. And I want to install the standard version of Android Studio. So I will leave it as it is, which is standard. And then click on Next. And here you can choose uh, which 
theme you want for your Android Studio, Darkula or uh, the light theme. I will choose the Darkula theme for uh, this uh, Android Studio installation and then click on the next uh, button. And now on this uh, next window, you will uh, see the verify settings window. And here you can verify all the settings. And if you uh, don't want to install some of the settings, you can click on uh, the previous button and change those settings. So once you have verified all the settings, you can just click on next and then click on finish. And now at this point, Android Studio is going to install all the components which you have chosen. So just wait for the download of those components. Also, if you want to see the details of this process, you can click on show details, which is going to show you what's uh, happening right now. So once the downloading of the components are finished, I can click on the finish button, which is going to start my Android Studio. So when Android Studio starts, it's going to look like this. So you can create a project, you can open an existing project from here and also you have all these other options. So let's create a new project in Android Studio and let's see if everything is working fine or not. So I'm going to just click on create a new project and then you can select the template from here. I'm going to choose the default template which is empty activity and then click on next. And here you can give the name to your project. I will leave it as default because I just want to test but you can uh, change the name of your project from here and also you can change the package name uh, from here. You can also choose uh, the language in which you want to uh, create your Android Studio project. You have the option to choose Java or Kotlin here. For now, I'm going to choose Java, but uh, if you are comfortable with Kotlin, you can choose Kotlin from here. Also, you can choose the minimum SDK version from here. You can see uh, all these versions. By default, uh, Android Studio is going to suggest you uh, some version. And if you uh, want to choose other version, you can choose it from here. So, so let's say I'm going to choose this version, which is API 26 8.0 Oreo, which is going to cover around 60% of devices. And then I'm going to just click on finish, which is going to create this Android project for me. So let me just maximize this window. So when you create your Android project for the first time, it might take a little bit uh, of time. Here you can see what's new in uh, Android Studio 4.1. I'm going to just minimize this uh, window from here. And now I can see these two files, which are main activity.xml file and main activity.java file. You will also see at the bottom that Gradle is installing some packages. So I need to wait until all the Gradle packages are downloaded. So now once the Gradle download is complete, uh, I can see all the project files here and uh, I can click on the main underscore activity.xml file. And when I click on uh, this XML file, I can see uh, three modes here. One is the design mode where you can design your UI. Other is the code mode where you can uh, write the UI design in the form of this XML file. And the third is the split view where you can see the design as well as the XML file also. Also, you can see the terminal option here. So you can open the terminal inside the Android Studio and you have this build option where you will be able to see if your build was successful or not. So you can see the last build was successful uh, and it says build successful in five minutes and 30 seconds. Also, when you go on the top, you will be able to see by default the device on which your Android program is going to run, which comes with the Android Studio by default. And let's run this uh, program and let's see what happens when I click on this uh, run button. So, so because the build was already successful, I can just click on the run app button, which is going to open this kind of Android emulator 
on my Ubuntu operating system which comes with the installation of the Android Studio. So this emulator is installed at the time of the installation of Android Studio. So I haven't installed this emulator separately, right? So when you run your app, it's going to open your emulator and show you the output. So just wait for some time until this output is shown. So this process might take few seconds to few minutes if you are running uh, this Android Studio and this emulator for the first time. Now for some reason if your uh, uh, emulator doesn't show the output as in my case you can also add a new device using the AVD manager. So to open the AVD manager you can just click on tools and then click on the AVD manager and you can see uh, right now I have one device which supports API version 30 which is uh, different than my project right so I can just create a new virtual device and here I can choose any uh, phone I will just choose uh, the phone so let's say I'm going to choose uh, Nexus 5 for this demo and then click on next and you can see uh, which version you want to target from here. I'm going to choose this one, which is Oreo, because I have selected Oreo in the creation of the project also. So I'm going to just click on download and then click on accept, next, and then it's going to start the download of uh, this device. And once this device is installed, I can just click on the finish button here and you can see this device is added. So I can just select once again, Oreo uh, API level 26 and then click on next. And then I can choose the setup orientation from here and the AVD name from here. I will leave everything as default and then click on finish, which is going to add this device in my uh, virtual devices list, right? So once this device is added, you can just select this device and then close this window or you can just choose this new device which uh, you have added. So I can choose this Nexus 5 API 26 here and then click on the run button once again. And now I can see my app is launched on this emulator. And also I can see this success message which says operation succeeded. And it says hello world because by default this text view contained this text which is hello world right you can see this text here also so now we have successfully installed android studio on our ubuntu operating system and we have also successfully created an android studio project on ubuntu operating system so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video